Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the third problem from the 30 days of JavaScript by lead code. The problem statement name is actually to be or not to be. Let us go over the problem statement now. So the problem statement goes like this, that you have to write a function x expect that helps developer test their code. Okay, so this is actually a function. And if you somewhat use jest uh, for testing react libraries or like react snippets, then you might have seen this type of function as well here. Okay, so these are just testing libraries snippets. You have to write down the function for that purpose in which it should take a value val and return an object with the following two functions. So it will take a value and it will return two functions to be val except another value and returns true if the two values equal each other if they're not returns then not equal so in simple terms it is somewhat an assertion function okay assertion function means that two values are same or not it will take this value as an input and also take another value as an input and just tell that whether these two values are equal or not so you just have to tell that whether they're equal or not if they're equal it is equal or not else not to be is also a function in which you have to te test the assertion that these two values are not equal okay and this is the overall function uh, let's talk about some examples to make it more clear as you can see that expect is a function that will take a value and on that value this will on this you can like use one more function so it will return one more functions so in which you can call to be and to be with another value and it will assert that whether these two values are true or not you will return true okay if these two values are not return like equal you will return not equal Okay, and it will it should be an error and this should be a value. So it should be returning an error. Okay, so you have to throw an error for this particular type. And not to be, not to be means that this five is not equal to null, which is true. So return true. Okay, and that's the overall thing that you have to do. Now, how you can write down this thing? Understanding about JavaScript that you have to first make a function. Okay, you have to write down a function, and on that function, you have to return two more functions. Okay, so what you can see here is that this is an accept function. This is an expect, uh, sorry, expect function. And on that function, you, ha you have to return two more functions. So as you can see, I have returned two more functions on top of it. Okay, so whenever this function is like, le let's say initialized, it will take some value as an input, as you can see. So this function is assigned to this expect. Okay, and whenever this is called using expect, as you can see like this, expect is now assigned to a function, which is taking a value as an input. Okay, whenever it is taking a value as an input, it should return two more functions. And that can be called using the dot operator like this. Fine. Now, what all these two functions are doing? So you can write down implementation here. You can use let because it's a block scope. Uh, we'll talk about let var also in separate videos, but let's just understand that we are taking let here. And now you have to write down the implementation of these two functions as well. Now these two functions, because as you can see, these are also functions because it is taking the value in the parenthesis. So we have to now make two more functions to be and not to be like this. And these are also assigned to functions, which are also taking two values as like values as an input. Okay. Now to be means that the value here that is val and X should be equal. If they're equal, you should return true else you have to throw an error, which is not equal. Okay, so pretty much simple. Not to be is just the reverse of it. If the two values are not equal, then only you should return true or else you'll return uh, an error, which is means that you both the values are equal. Because this function, this function is asserting that these two values should not be equal. If they're equal, it should throw an error that they are equal. Okay, so these are a uh, inner implementation of a function, which is generally used as a like in a testing library. Okay, this is an expect function. So these are just expecting or like asserting two values, whether they're equal or not, depending upon the function which is called. And whenever this function is assigned to this expect, expect, sorry, this expect is now returning two more functions to assert this value. Okay, that is the overall implementation in JavaScript. You can pause on this video. If you have still more doubts, you can mention on in the comment box of this particular video. I've tried to explain it every and each line one by one. I can also write down the code for it, but it will just make the video more long. And I just have to focus more on how the lines or every line of the code works, not just writing on the code of it because uh, it's pretty much simple. You can find it off online also, but the overall implementation and how the logic works, that is much more important. Okay, that is the overall code and the logic for this particular video. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Till the coding and bye.